What is up guys? Smitty Angling TV today with a new video. I've finally gotten some time to post and yeah, just go crazy. Um, today we're gonna be building our own fishing rod. I'm very, very excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, but the idea just came back to me once I watched the YouTuber first state fishing. I will definitely put his link in the description. Go check his channel out. He's growing very fast and he's make, making amazing content. Just go check him out. And um, yeah, so I was thinking maybe like build a fishing rod out of something like PVC. Very flexible. It's strong. And um, yeah, but the thing is a lot of YouTubers have done it already. So I'm not sure if I want to go with that, but uh, I'm going to look a bit more and then um, hopefully we can get something that's gonna be the best. Wow, isn't that just a long rod at the top there? That's actually like, probably like a five meter rod. That's, I don't know how many feet that is, but it's really long. And I've, th I've been thinking like, maybe I can do like a carp rod bass fishing challenge. If you guys think that would be pretty cool, tell me in the comment section, I'll really appreciate it. Catch them toads on them long rods. Anyway, um, still haven't found anything. Okay, so this is like our old canopy holder thingy, but it's metal, it's quite heavy, so I don't think this will work as a rod. Um, so I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm not going to the Home Depot for this challenge. I'm actually just gonna look around the house and see if I can find something at the house. I don't wanna be go out and buy, I wanna make this like a home build. I do not know what that is, but it looks like it can work. Okay, let me just check what that thing is. I'm not really sure. I'm very, very focused. In. Damn, what is this? It has these weird rips, but it actually looks really good. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty good. So that's an option. It's just a piece of wood. It's an option. And it's not too flexible, but it's really strong. But uh, let me just go back in the shed and look again if I can find something else. There's also this broom stick, but uh, I don't know. It just seems too thick and too non-flexible, you know? Um, so I don't know. Okay, I'm back in the garage. I'm really struggling to get something to use as a rod. So I got those two things right there. That looks terrible, that's a terrible view. I got this little stick, it's literally a branch. It's a bit flexible, but not too much. And then there's the PVC. I was thinking maybe connect to, that may, that may be pretty cool. Maybe use the PVC like as a handle or something. I'm not sure. That seems like it could work, right? Okay, so at the moment I got this thing running into the PVC. And I was thinking maybe just cut the PVC off at, I don't know, maybe a meter. Just to give the rod like a little bit of extra flexibility. But uh, I'm not sure yet, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. Wouldn't that actually work as a handle for the fishing pole? It's like an old bike handle. Maybe for the handle, I don't know. I'll check if I can incorporate that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a look if I can get some other things, uh, maybe for the eyes. I'm thinking maybe use some screws or some wire or something. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some of this installation tape or something, so I'm just gonna keep that. We're also gonna need some cable ties, so I'm just gonna take a few cable ties, maybe three cable ties. Okay. Saw. So. Okay guys, so for the eyes of the fishing rod, I'm actually just gonna Cut some wire and uh, make them round so I can attach them. So I'm just gonna go cut some wires quickly. Okay. Okay, so I'm not a handyman whatsoever, but I got an idea. I was thinking if I cut these wires, then I have this piece of have this piece of hose pipe so maybe I can wrap it around the hose pipe to get it rounded. I'm gonna try that quickly. It actually seems like it can work. 
And that's my eye. I'm gonna bend it the right way. Mm, that thing's quite stiff. That seems like it can work, right? If this is the rod, I'm gonna put it like that and just tape it around it so it's not a nice little eye, you know? It's gonna make a few more of those. Number two. Number three. It looks like that. I'm gonna cut my pole so long and get the perfect length. So this is the rod at the moment, guys. Pretty weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's pretty weird. Maybe rather like that. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for the handle yet. I thought the PVC was gonna do it, but uh, I'm gonna cut the wood right there. Make that the handle, that the tip, and then the PVC body in the middle. Okay, so I got my handle now. I'm thinking that like that maybe. Let's check. Maybe like that, just to make it a little bit more soft. I think we're gonna need the other one as well. I was thinking something like that, but obviously I'll need more space so I can attach the reel right there. That looks, that actually looks pretty good. Now this is actually a carping rod, but uh, yeah, just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna attach it. Okay, that's about it. I'm just gonna put the cable ties right there. Okay, so that's my basic setup right there. Now I'm gonna attach the eyes. Now I just need to attach my last eye and then my rod is like almost done. Almost, almost done. And I'm really, really excited. This is actually so much fun. I didn't think it's going to be this fun though, but it is actually really fun. Just hope this thing doesn't break. You obviously tested. Okay, so the eyes are like the most difficult part because they keep coming loose. So uh, you have to tie it really, really tight. It's done guys. Check this out. What is up guys, welcome back. Um, now, yes, yesterday I didn't have a lot of time, so I couldn't take the DIY rod, DIY rod out to go and fish a bit, but right now, I'm actually heading to one of my friends' places. He has like a pond in his backyard, and I've been wanting to fish there for quite a while now, so I'm gonna head there, and maybe we're gonna catch some bass, maybe we're gonna catch some carp, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and catch a bass or so. Um, Hopefully we catch a few fish though, because I want to catch a nice fish on that DIY rod. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned. What is up guys? Uh, we are at the dam right now. We just finished up setting the gazebo. Uh, just to get some shade, but this is my friend Achi. This is his place. How are you? Uh, this is a really nice dam. Uh, I've actually been here and I didn't even know that it was his place. But just look at it. It looks really good. And uh, I'm sure we're going to catch a few fish. So we're going to get started on, on that. But uh, first off, I want to take the DIY rod and I want to catch at least two to three fish or whatever if I can catch that many on it and then uh, I'm just gonna use my other rods and just check if I can catch a toad or whatever let's try cast this thing I'm actually not sure this is gonna that didn't work <laughs> this is hard oh I'm in I'm in I'm in okay let me get my drag right this rod is so heavy. Wow! They're eating, they're already eating it. Yes! Wow! Just look at that, guys. <laughs> These carp are hungry. Wow! Oh, you're on! Yeah. Wow! He's on, he's on. Wow, he's on, guys. <laughs> nice! First cast. Let's see if I can get on. Nice! Wow! Look at that guys, nice! <laughs> I'll take a bread now, I just want to try to catch a bass first. But if I can't hook up, then I'll take a bread. It's pretty hard to cast this thing. I really hope I can catch a fish on this. We have to catch one for you guys. I want to. 
Let's side the fish a few. Ah, see, yes, that's a big ass crab. I just want to catch a crab on the DIY rod quickly. Here, crabby. Oh, I got a crab. Oh, I, I caught a crab, guys, on the DIY rod. <laughs> wow, that's a big one as well. <laughs> guys, look at that. Crab on the DIY rod. Oh, I see one. Okay. Yeah, I see it, I see it. His nose is literally sticking out. I think I'm actually just going to cheat cast this thing. This again. Let's hope we don't scare him. Okay, he's talking. I'm on. Whoa! <laughs> I'm on, guys. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's peeling drag. No, I lost it. I lost it. Damn. My drag's too loose. Oh, man. I think I set the hook too hard. Oh, I see one. I see one. I see one. I saw one right here, guys. I'm on. I'm on, guys. I'm on. DIY rod, come on. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one too. Oh. Oh, he's trying to pull drag. He's not, he's not hooked properly. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Come here, come here, come here. He's still angry, guys. The reel, everything held up. I mean, the rod is kind of heavy, but it held up, guys, and that's what that's what matters. So, yeah, this is. I'm so happy. I'm really so happy right now. Oh, I got a bike. I definitely got a bike, guys. If that thing goes down now, then I know I'm hooked up. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I got a little one. Oh, wow! This horse, this little guy in. Fish! <laughs> when your friends look at you when you're trying to vlog, it's just so weird, you know? But anyway, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. I really, really enjoyed making the, the DIY rod uh, at my house and obviously catching the few cops. I think it was still fun even to watch. So I can't wait to get home and edit. And that are, that, those are the folks that are making it so uncomfortable for me to vlog. Have a good look at them, guys. Have a good look at them. Mm -mm. Not so close, you know. Not, not so close. close and that's the other one. Hello. But uh, both of them are awesome. And uh, girls call my number, 0, 7, 6, 7, no, 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 no. He's just, he's just gonna, he's trying to get some girls. <laughs> like John B always says, keep fishing, never stop. Anyway, have a good one. <laughs>